why e-commerce still the best route for most developers if you don't want to be having technical interviews, if you don't want to be going through hell on an interview doing three to four different interviews, if you just want to start working and get in this career. So let's get started. All right. So first of all, let's start with the facts that to start working in e-commerce, right, in the e-commerce industry, you don't have to be a full stack developer. A lot of people don't understand this and they don't understand this because they see everyone tell them, hey, you got to learn uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript, React, uh, uh, Prisma, Node.js, uh, Next.js, and a million different things, right? But they don't understand that there's jobs out here within these companies that you could literally get started with just HTML, CSS. That's as far as technical skills that you need. So again, we have right here e-commerce coordinator. Okay. This is a position where basically your job is to manage the store. Anyone can come in and literally do this. This is your first way into the industry. So let's say, for example, you just learn a couple of skills, you know enough about web development and you know how to use a computer. This is where you start. Now from there, we have the next stage, which is e-commerce and email marketing. Okay. So this is where you go in and you learn a little bit more skills on top of just HTML, CSS, for example, like how to manage a store, how to actually go in and create uh, email campaigns, how to actually segment the users. Um, also to creating like, you know, add to cart, uh, emails, abandoned cart emails, things like that, that will help the business actually generate income from when users go to the website and they don't finish doing a purchase or to notify them on what's happening within the store. It could be maybe a, a sale, it could be a holiday, etc. This is where you go in and you do this with just HTML, CSS, and a couple of extra little skills on top of that. Now, remember, this is something that anyone that has uh, no experience to six months of experience of just like building things online can actually do. It's not that hard. Now, as you continue to progress and you're already working within the industry, then from there, you continue to learn more skills. This is where you go in and go deeper into JavaScript. This is when you go deeper into learning some backend languages, working with databases, working with GraphQL, right? Um, from there, you have these jobs, which is e-commerce full stack web developer. This is where you're going to go in and start working within these platforms to create extra features, right? Uh, create you know, different, uh, components and, and sections of the website. So remember you're gradually growing with the skills that you have within the industry. Then on top of that, now you go in and you say, well, I'm specializing in one specific, uh, framework or, uh, content management system or, uh, platform. For example, we have Shopify. Shopify is the number one e-commerce platform for new businesses. And this is where everybody's building their online stores. So whenever you see an advertisement on Instagram, YouTube, etc., or TikTok, most likely their stores are built on Shopify. Okay. So guess what? This is when you go in and you say, well, now I'm going to go in and specialize in this ecosystem. As you go in and you start building more skills and you have more experience, this is the levels that you start getting into. Okay. Cause once you understand how e-commerce work is very, how can I say this predictable? Okay. How most websites work It's basically it's a website, right? People land on a landing page from there it has the product details from there. You have different collections. You have a cart. And then from there, you basically do a request to be able to purchase something. Okay. It's very predictable, pretty straightforward. But as you have more experience, now you could get into the world of actually building custom online stores. So where you build in the code from the ground up. Now, this is something that you're going to be able to do over time. 
initially what you're going to be doing is using most of these different platforms like Wix, Shopify, uh, WooCommerce, where everything has already been built and what you're doing is building upon it. But as you continue to grow as a developer, then now there's going to be companies that will hire you for you having the skills and knowing everything about e-commerce and how you can go in and, and serve them. So yes, e-commerce to this day, still the best niche to get into, all right? Again, just like I said in the beginning, one of the things that I love about e-commerce is that it's an industry where they want you to produce. It's not like when you go in and you say, well, I'm going to apply at Netflix, okay? Netflix is going to look for an overall engineer. So they don't know if they're going to put you in the mobile apps team. They don't know if they're going to put you on the DevOps. They don't know if they're going to put you on the front end. You're going to be working with Java. They want you to be able to do pretty much anything, right? And depending on where they need your talents, they'll put you in there. With e-commerce, it's more about producing. Hey, we have an online store. We need this product to be able to sell. These are the requirements and that's it, okay? Even when you go to the interviews, it's much easier because they want you to go in and produce and show results. And even with, you know, once you have more experience and you start getting into bigger roles, what really counts is like what companies have you worked at? What levels of, you know, sales have that company had? You know, what was your responsibility within that, that company, right? What features, what type of, um, you know, things you added to, to the platform, to the website, right? That you build a custom theme, that you build the emails. Do you understand how advertisement work? Do you understand how, you know, being able to, create, you know, automations with maybe Clavio or setting up some SMS messages, right? Things that's going to help the business generate sales, right? Those are the things that they're caring about. It's not about, hey, let's go in and, and you know, let's do some riddles for two hours and a half and it's you and 20 other guys and here's a knife in the room and let's see who survives, right? It's not about that. It's about how much you value you could actually bring to the company because what they care about is selling, okay? Making money. And that's something that as a developer, if you're looking for a career change and you're looking for your niche and which route you should go on, I definitely recommend for you guys to focus on e-commerce because it's just much easier. It's a much easier route for you to get in and also to less competition. Let everybody else go ahead and kill themselves trying to get into Fang, okay? Let them do that. I'd rather go in and work for a company like Nike. Maybe I would like to go and work for, I don't know, Gymshark, or maybe I would like to work for, um, I don't know, music label that sells merch of their artists online, right? Maybe I want to go and work for a company that sells jewelry, right? You're still going to make $100,000 and up, right? And you're still going to be doing development. So if we're focusing on those two things of, hey, I want to code, hey, I want to make money, e-commerce is still the best route for you guys. Again, this is just a little tip, a little you know reminder for you guys that this is the route that you guys should definitely go. All right, guys. Now, if you found any value in this video, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you give me some comments, right? Are you in the e-commerce ecosystem? Are you thinking about you know, going into that route. Are you a beginner and still trying to learn how to code? Like leave a comment below. Let me know where you're at right now in your career so we could go in and, and discuss it in the chat. For the next hour, I'm gonna go in and answer all of your questions that you guys might have in there. Now, again, guys, for anybody that's interested in like learning about e-commerce, learning how to code, learning these skills, you guys gotta check out codingphase.com, guys, all right? This is a platform that I literally built for helping people get into the industry, getting into the game as quickly as possible. If you're having trouble and you're going through hell to get your first job, I can guarantee you there's things that we can come in and fix for you and help you out in this process that is going to get you way more results than whatever it is that you're doing right now. Come check out the website, links in the description. And when you check out the link in the description, I'm going to give you guys a 20% off, which basically is going to give you this amount, okay? Basically $72 a month 
Sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> $72 a month, right? Um, which gives you access to all of the courses, coaching, career paths, um, programming courses, right? The tech accelerator, private community access, and we even do job search research for you, right? We search for jobs and opportunities for you just like this ones, and we tell you exactly which are the ones that you should be applying to that will give you the highest chance of getting hired. Again, we've been doing this for seven plus years. Come check out the platform, okay? Um, again, it's literally 80 cents a day if you sign up for a year. If you wanna come in and do just a month, hey, let's come in, let's fix your portfolio, let's fix your projects. It's literally $72, all right? We're talking about crackhead prices, basically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Guys, definitely pay attention to e commerce. It's the way to go if you want to have less competition and an easier route into the industry.